Welcome back my fellow Takus, it's Jaykun here, and before I start this video, I just want to thank you guys a lot for the support that you guys showed on my recent video. It's the LR Broly video that I did for a Dogon battle, and I just really gotta thank you guys, because apparently a lot of you guys enjoyed it, and you, a lot of you guys watched it, so I just gotta thank you guys for that, and since you guys liked it, I'll probably do some more of those in the future. But without further ado, let's talk about Dragon Ball Super Episode 89. Now. This is a good episode. It's not bad. Uh, I liked it a lot better than the one where Goku and Android 17 went out to outer space, I guess. But this is just a lot better than that. And like I said, these kind of like filler episodes are what we need because like I, I honestly don't know. I don't know what the point. I don't know what was the point of that episode with Android 17 and Goku going out to outer space. I really don't know what's the point of that because they could have done that in so many other ways. But I guess they needed something, right? But anyways. The way that Goku recruited Master Roshi and Tien in this episode was really good. It was kind of com comedic too, so uh, it was enjoyable. So I want to start off with the the main thing that I was... I, it was the biggest confusion for me, because last week when I was talking about the episode 89 preview, at the end of the episode... At the end of the video where I um, reviewed episode 88, I thought that girl that showed up at the end was gonna be like Tien's wife or girlfriend or something like that, but I was, man, I was completely wrong. I was way off on that. He, She's actually a girl that, uh, I guess, you, I wouldn't say Tien's rival, but she wanted to fight with Tien back when they were at the crane school and Tien rejected that fight and he left with Chaozu and now she learned witchcraft and came back and tried to take down Tien. Isn't that crazy, guys? That's even worse than the Obito and Rin thing from Naruto. <laughs> But anyways, this girl learned witchcraft, she tries to get revenge at Tien for not fighting her back then, but Master Roshi happened to be there too, and I just want to say, I did not know that Tien had a dojo, like, I honestly did not expect that, but I mean, actually, I, I could see that happening, I just never expected it. But anyways, it does turn out that he has a dojo, and he had Master Roshi over as like a, I don't know, like a mentor for everyone to see. And his uh, his students were looking up to Tien, and they were training and all. And then Goku came by, and he told him that uh, he told him about the tournament of power. And like everyone, it just so happens that Tien rejects the offer too. And Master Roshi wasn't there; he was actually messing around with that girl. And that was really really funny because we got to see Master Roshi being the pervert that he is in this episode, and it was hilarious. I gotta say, it was just it reminded me just of the Dragon Ball days when Master Roshi tried to get with Bulma, and all those like times he tried to like um makes make some offers to Bulma so he could see some of those tits, but this episode was funny. Master Roshi did kind of get what he want, I kind of, so I do recommend that you go watch the episode, it's pretty entertaining. It's not a bad episode, like I said, I would give it like a 7 out of 10. It was good, there wasn't much fighting, I mean there was fighting, so actually, I'll talk about the fight later on, but Tien, I don't know how strong he is. But uh, Goku didn't really fight Tien, but we did get to see Master Roshi beat the shit out of Tien for some reason. But also, this episode wasn't really focused on anything else like too much. Like the girls, it was the girl that came and tried to get revenge on Tien. It didn't focus on that too much. I feel like the main point of this episode was trying to focus on what Tien and Master Gro what Tien and Master Roshi has to offer for the Tournament of Power. Now, um, I'm pretty sure many of you guys forgot, like I have, like Tien has that forearm technique where he could grow an extra two pairs of, where he could grow an extra pair of arm in his back, and I honestly completely forgot about that. And just think about how, what those things could do in the tournament power. Like you could completely throw someone off of that if he pulls it out in the middle of a battle. Like those kind of things, those kind of little gimmicks and tricks is really what's gonna make, like, make or make or break the team for the tournament. And Master Roshi, like I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys forgot that he has the perilous technique. I mean, I completely forgot about that. The only technique that I remember Master Roshi having was actually the, sorry, the the only technique I remember Master Roshi having was uh the hip hypnosis technique. Yeah, he used it against Goku and made him walk out the stage. I think I forgot. It was in late Dragon Ball, like in the I it was in the last few episode of Dragon Ball if I remember correctly. I actually don't remember or. I'm pretty sure it was in the last arc of Dragon Ball Super, but this entire episode, I feel like those are the things that you really need to take out of it, like what Tien and Master Roshi could do for the Tournament of Power, and not as in how strong they are, because I'm pretty sure Goten and Trunks are way stronger than them, but they don't got those gimmicks, you know, like Tien and Master Roshi have, they just have way more experience in the battlefield, and since it is a free-for-all, like, you know, they're gonna be like... The, the ones with the gimmicks are gonna be the ones that wins. So I really feel like that this tournament isn't who's the strongest, but who's the smartest. 
I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean. Because we got Piccolo there, he got a bunch of gimmicks, like his arms could stretch out, and, uh, well, who else? Like, we got the Solar Flare times 100. I feel like these past few episodes were really just focused on what the each member has to bring to the team. But we also got to see uh, Master Roshi fighting uh, Goku, of course. I mean, I guess that was the only kind of fight in this entire episode. Now, honestly, I would have flipped my shit if Goku even had to turn Super Saiyan for that. But apparently, Master Roshi is really, really strong too. Because Goku, like throughout the entire like two-minute fight that he had with Master Roshi, he kept saying how Master Roshi was holding back his power all this time, and this is what it's like when he's not holding back. So I'm, and he's also said that Master Roshi been training secretly also. So I'm guessing Master Roshi has been like. You know, training and getting new techniques behind our backs too. So I don't know what he has to offer to the, on the table. So when the actual tournament of power begins, I speculate that we will actually start the tournament event two episode because the next episode I feel like we're gonna see Goku and the other training for a little bit, and then the episode after that, this tournament is gonna start because at after this episode, right, we already got all of the ten members. So pretty much Goku recruited everyone already. The next episode, we're probably gonna see them train, and then the one after that, I think we're gonna actually start the fighting. Or maybe not. I don't I actually don't know because I haven't been keeping up the leaks. Who is beeping their car, man? I don't know if you guys could hear that, but someone's honking really loud outside. But anyways, like I said, it's probably going to be another week or another two weeks before we actually get to see the tournament power begin. But I'm really excited to see some of these fights that's about to happen. Like like I said, Master Roshi and Tien, Krillin, they all have these cool tricks up their sleeve. I want to see how it plays out in the actual fight. I'm just, in general, really excited about this. This episode itself... It was pretty cool, uh, not too bad, not too good. It was probably on the better side though. Like compare when I compare it to like a really bad filler episode, like the Android 17 and Goku one, where it, when they were in outer space, I, I did not like that. It was kind of boring. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was just nothing going on for it. But this episode, I really liked it. It was enjoyable. I, I mean, I highly recommend that you guys go out there and watch it if you guys haven't already watched it because you, you do get to see how Goku recruit uh, Master Roshi and Tien. And of course, Tien agreed to join because uh, the moment that... Alright, I forgot if I mentioned this, but uh, in the beginning of the episode, the girl that came to get revenge on Tien used uh, witchcraft to like put Talesmans on his... Uh, on TN students and they went wild destroying the town so if the, if of course if you win the tournament you get 10 million zenny right i'm pretty sure goku made that up but with that zenny um tian could rebuild the town and master roshi just wants 10 million zenny for i don't know what but uh i have a sneaky suspicion that is <laughs> it's rated m okay i did not i couldn't find another word for it but it's probably rated m so we don't want to know but anyways a lot of things to look forward to in the next few weeks so that's pretty much all I have to say for this episode, for this video, it was a good episode, uh, so definitely go watch it if you guys haven't already, and definitely leave a like and rating down below if you guys enjoyed this video, but of course subscribe because I always put out, I guess, I wanted to do daily videos again, but with the way that the schedule is looking recently, mm, you know, I'm having a hard time doing the daily video thing, so, but I will continue putting out content every single week that's for sure maybe two videos three videos or even if i'm pretty sure i will have at least one i am trying my hardest to not to at least upload one video a week but that is the stand line it's like that's the bottom line so definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and if you guys want to go back and watch some more of my other videos of course you guys could do that too so definitely subscribe all right and i'll see you guys in the next one peace